Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the pre-show of our third annual Friends of the Crisis Nursery Founders High Tea benefiting Sacramento Children's Home Crisis Nursery. My name is Freddie Silvera with FSA Auctions, and I am delighted to be your co-host with Kelly DeMarco, Kelly DeMarco Communications, as we go live with you right here at 1 p.m. I wanna give you a couple tips that'll give you the best experience possible when we go live with you at 1 p.m. right here. The first is to participate, I would encourage that you go to this link, fcn2021.ggo.bid. That's fcn 2021 Dot G -G -O dot B -I -D. If you go to that link now, I would encourage that you register by clicking on Get Started in the upper right corner and then create an account. You'll fill out your email, password, contact, and credit card information there so that you can participate to the fullest extent when we go live with you at 1 p.m. Now to participate, I would encourage that you have your laptop up with YouTube and your mobile device with that link, the mobile bidding link as well encourage you to say hello in the YouTube chat bar with us here now. You can do this by logging in, signing in, or creating an account with YouTube to say hi. We'll have an amazing engagement with you as the program goes on. I know you'll probably already be seeing Maria Sperber, our president and director of philanthropy, Todd Kulaki in there as well. So ladies and gentlemen, when you go to that mobile bidding link as you're watching our YouTube live, you can begin to donate to our fund to need now and you can also begin to bid on our live auction items now. Now, Todd's gonna let you know all about our program and it's gonna move very fast, but we'll get started with our fund to need followed by our live auction. So you can find our fund to need on that link, fcn2021.ggo.bid by clicking on donate to fund to need. You'll find that there. You can also participate on that link by clicking the YouTube live stream and you can see the YouTube live and bid and donate all there at once if you'd like as well. Next, we'll have our seven live auction items, starting with the beautiful Cindy Wilson beach ball sculpture, which is right behind me. That'll be number one, which you'll see our seven live auction items in order on that link, fcn2021.ggo.bid. We'll start with the beach ball, then we're gonna work our way to Truckee, and then we've got five more amazing items, including a Lake Almanor package, we've got a sushi package, we've got a Mexico package, We've got a newly added, last minute, unbelievable Gregory Condos Emerald Bay painting. We've got an amazing live auction, fun to need. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and we can't wait to see you live at 1 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for joining us this afternoon. We can't wait to have an amazing event with you. See you live at one o'clock. Take care. Good afternoon. My name is Todd Kulakian and I'm the Director of Philanthropy at the Sacramento Children's Home. I'm so pleased to welcome you today to our Founders High Tea being put on by the Friends of the Crisis Nursery and the Sacramento Children's Home. We've got a really great event in store for you today. It's going to be an hour-long program with a live, silent auction and fund to need 
as well as some really impactful videos and stories about the important work being done at the Sacramento Children's Home Crisis Nursery. We're also going to be recognizing Reedy Richmond, who is so instrumental in supporting the Crisis Nursery and was very involved in the inception of the nursery back in 1996. Since that time, Edie has done so much work to fundraise, advocate, and go out and talk on behalf of the nursery because she believes so strongly in the work that the Crisis Nursery does. Sacramento Children's Home operates Sacramento County's only Crisis Nursery program, and it is so vital for our community. It is a one-of-a-kind program that services families with infant through age five children that are going through a crisis. And your support of today's event is going to ensure that the crisis nursery can be there for so many children and families for years to come. We rely on the support of community members like you through events like today's Founders Tea to ensure that the nursery is there. And over the last year, the nursery has been more essential than ever. As we have all struggled through the COVID-19 pandemic, the crisis nursery has remained there for the children and families who have needed it during their urgent time of need. And it's because of people like you. So I really appreciate you all for being here today and for being here to support the crisis nursery. Thank you so much and really have a great time during the Founders High Tea today.
afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the pre-show of our third annual Friends of the Crisis Nursery Founders High Tea Benefiting Sacramento Children's Home Crisis Nursery. My name is Freddie Silvera with FSA Auctions and I am delighted to be your co-host with Kelly DeMarco, Kelly DeMarco Communications, as we go live with you right here at 1 p.m. I wanna give you a couple tips that'll give you the best experience possible when we go live with you at 1 p.m. right here. The first is to participate, I would encourage that you go to this link, fcn2021.ggo.bid. That's fcn 2021 dot g g o dot b i d if you go to that link now i would encourage that you register by clicking on get started in the upper right corner and then create an account you'll fill out your email password contact and credit card information there so that you can participate to the fullest extent when we go live with you at 1 p.m now to participate i would encourage that you have your laptop up with youtube and your mobile device with that link the mobile bidding link as well encourage you to say hello in the YouTube chat bar with us here now. You can do this by logging in, signing in, or creating an account with YouTube to say hi. We'll have an amazing engagement with you as the program goes on. I know you'll probably already be seeing Maria Sperber, our president and director of philanthropy, Todd Kulaki in there as well. So ladies and gentlemen, when you go to that mobile bidding link as you're watching our YouTube live, you can begin to donate to our fund to need now and you can also begin to bid on our live auction items now. Now, Todd's gonna let you know all about our program and it's gonna move very fast, but we'll get started with our fund to need followed by our live auction. So you can find our fund to need on that link, fcn2021.ggo.bid by clicking on donate to fund to need. You'll find that there. You can also participate on that link by clicking the YouTube live stream and you can see the YouTube live and bid and donate all there at once if you'd like as well. Next, we'll have our seven live auction items starting with the beautiful Cindy Wilson beach ball sculpture, which is right behind me. That'll be number one, which you'll see our seven live auction items in order on that link, fcn2021.ggo.bid. We'll start with the beach ball. Then we're gonna work our way to Truckee, and then we've got five more amazing items, including a Lake Almanor package, we've got a sushi package, we've got a Mexico package, and we've got a newly added, last minute, unbelievable Gregory Condos Emerald Bay painting. We've got an amazing live auction, fun to need, it's gonna be a lot of fun, and we can't wait to see you live at 1 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for joining us this afternoon. We can't wait to have an amazing event with you. See you live at one o'clock. Take care. Good afternoon. My name is Todd Kulakian and I'm the Director of Philanthropy at the Sacramento Children's Home. I'm so pleased to welcome you today to our Founders High Tea being put on by the Friends of the Crisis Nursery and the Sacramento Children's Home. We've got a really great event in store for you today. It's going to be an hour-long program with a live, silent auction and fund-to-need 
as well as some really impactful videos and stories about the important work being done at the Sacramento Children's Home Crisis Nursery. We're also going to be recognizing Reedy Richmond, who is so instrumental in supporting the Crisis Nursery and was very involved in the inception of the nursery back in 1996. Since that time, Edie has done so much work to fundraise, advocate, and go out and talk on behalf of the nursery because she believes so strongly in the work that the Crisis Nursery does. Sacramento Children's Home operates Sacramento County's only Crisis Nursery program, and it is so vital for our community. It is a one-of-a-kind program that services families with infant through age five children that are going through a crisis. And your support of today's event is going to ensure that the crisis nursery can be there for so many children and families for years to come. We rely on the support of community members like you through events like today's Founders Tea to ensure that the nursery is there. And over the last year, the nursery has been more essential than ever. As we have all struggled through the COVID-19 pandemic, the crisis nursery has remained there for the children and families who have needed it during their urgent time of need. And it's because of people like you. So I really appreciate you all for being here today and for being here to support the crisis nursery. Thank you so much and really have a great time during the Founders High Tea today.
and gentlemen, and welcome to the third annual Friends of the Crisis Nurseries Founders High Tea, benefiting Sacramento Children's Home Crisis Nursery. We're virtual. We're virtual. <laughs> We're here. We're right with you. We can't see you, but we feel the love already. Folks, thank you so very much for joining us for the Friends of Crisis Nursery. We're so grateful you're here. My name is Freddie Silvera with FSA Auctions. And I'm Kelly DeMarco. I'm the president of Kelly DeMarco Communications and also a former news anchor at KCRA3. But I think the best role and the reason I'm here tonight is mom, right? That, that's, that's the best job in the world, for sure. You are an amazing mom. Thank you, yep. Freddie. Appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, we're so grateful that you've joined us today for our Founders High Tea. We already see so many. Oh, we've got so many folks coming into the chat bar, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we've got uh, Maria Sperber, our board president. Maria. Hi, Maria. Uh, Todd Kolakian, the Director of Philanthropy, Sacramento Children's Home. Rebecca Clark, Andrea. Wow, check this out, Kelly. It's so nice when, you know, if you want to jump in the chat room and just throw a little shout out to your friends, thank people for being here because this is our way of just kind of keeping track of what everyone's doing this afternoon. I understand a lot of people have little meals, tea going at their place. So I feel like we need, it. we should have some tea right now. I know, we, we should, should do a, we should do a cheers. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll do a quick, we'll yeah, do, a little we'll, cheers. This is not it, we need tea. <laughs> we need tea. Everyone cheers. at home, I'm sure we've all have our tea at home or we're celebrating the founders high tea. So let's do a quick cheers together. We've got our water here, but we're virtual. So we're making it all happen today. <laughs> cheers, cheers, Kelly. Yep. Thanks, so glad to be here. Glad to see you guys. We're grateful you're here, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. We have an amazing program lined up for you. Um, uh, Maria Sperber, our board president, has told us all about the Friends of the Crisis Nursery and Todd with the Sacramento Children's Home have shared with us how grateful that everyone that we're here, that we're here this afternoon together, uh, as much as we'd love to be in person, we're very grateful to be here together this afternoon. And we see all of you in the chat bar. It, it's a lot of love. <laughs> I, Rebecca Clark, I love this one. Check out the auction. Lots of bidding wars going on. I can't wait for that. <laughs> it's already like, that's, that's exactly what we want. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a, a very fun program lined up for you. Just briefly, in a few moments, you'll get a chance to hear from our board president, Friends of the Crisis Nursery, Maria Sperber, to give you a brief welcome. Then from there, we'll have an opportunity to learn more about the Crisis Nursery and what we're fundraising for this afternoon. Then you'll have a chance to hear from Christina. She's gonna share her story and the impact that the Crisis Nursery has had on her family and her children. And then we'll have our exciting fun to need. Yes, Woo! great items, a trip to Mexico, Tahoe, some art, a little bit of everything. And so that's the part that um, we're really looking forward to, to just not only learn more about this and share with you why we love this organization so much, but to raise money because we really need to keep this critical program going. Yeah, and ladies and gentlemen, we're here for the most vulnerable children in our community. For We're here to help protect the children from abuse and neglect, and you'll learn more about that as we go throughout the program. But we're very grateful you're here. We'll have an exciting live auction after our fund to need. I wanna give you a couple housekeeping tips real quick for some of us that may be new to virtual events. So first and foremost, we would encourage you that you join us in the YouTube chat bar. You can do that by signing in or creating an account with YouTube in the live chat below. You create an account and let us know how you're connected to the Friends of the Crisis with Nurseries. We'd love to hear if you're a board member or a sponsor or just a friend in the community. We'd love to hear from you and how you're connected. And we'd love to hear why the Friends of Crisis Nursery means so much to you. Um, and the highlight that I'm really looking forward to at the very end is we have a very special award I've been hearing about or this. Or Edie Richmond, yeah. yes. So We've, deserving. Uh, Maria and Todd have shared with us just the impact that uh, Edie has had with the Friends of the Crisis Nursery mm -hmm. since inception. That's a long time. It's a long time. And she's consistently been there and shown up and just gone above and beyond. So that's going to be a fun part of the program this afternoon. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you again and welcome again. Uh, a few more housekeeping tips. You're on that link below. There's a QR code. I think it's going to be on my face right now. So <laughs> Do you want to move out of the way a little bit? Come this way. So it's not Come over here. There's a QR code right here. If you pull out your mobile device 
and put your camera app over the QR code, that'll take you directly to our fundraising link. So if you put your camera over the QR code right now, that'll take you directly to our fundraising link. What we would encourage, I think the QR code's on my face now, but <laughs> what we would encourage is uh, that you participate using two devices this afternoon. You would have your laptop for the YouTube experience and you can chat there on your laptop. And then from your mobile device, you can be on the fundraising link, which was the QR code or it's the link below. That's the fcn2021.ggo.bid. That's our magic link, ladies and gentlemen. That's where you can be donating to our fund in need. You can also be bidding on our live auction items and that'll all be happening here very shortly. Now, Kelly, I know this is a lot of just information. But. I know, and it's hard. When you haven't done a virtual event, it seems a little bit overwhelming, right? But it's kind of like, think of it as your little waiver at the party, your little, <laughs> pan, your little pan, except that you're not going to be, well, you're, he will be running around just in this little space right here. But once you get everything in, we're so used to now, right, with our phones, with COVID, menus, everything, we do the QR code. So it really is pretty easy. And once you get the hang of it, um, you'll just love it. So so again, ladies and gentlemen, the link below, that's where you can be donating to our fund in need. If you haven't registered already, if you go to that link below, fcn2021.ggo.bid, go to that link and we would encourage that you create an account now. You can create an account by clicking on get started in the upper right corner, then create account on the left hand side. You'll fill out your email, password, contact and credit card information, and then you'll all be registered and ready to donate to fund a need bid on live auction. You'll find our donate to fund a need right above the YouTube live stream on that link below. It'll say donate to fund a need. That's where you can make meaningful gifts towards the Friends of the Crisis Nursery throughout our program. And then our live auction items are in order one through six in the uh, live auction items and you can start to be bidding there now. So without further ado, we got all the particulars out of yes, the way, Kelly. All that out of the way. We've got to thank our sponsors, we, right? We They're have amazing. so many folks to thank this afternoon. Folks, we want to give a lot of love to our sponsors in the chat bar. If you know any of our sponsors, our board of directors, anybody, we'd love to hear from you and why they mean so much to you. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, starting off with our sponsors who make this afternoon possible. It starts off with a Accenture. Ladies and gentlemen, our top sponsor, Accenture, has been a major supporter and sponsor of Sacramento Children's Home and the Crisis Nursery for many years, thanks to the dedication and generosity of Sacramento Children's Home board member and past board member, Mark Noriega. Thank you very much, Mark Noriega and Accenture, for all of your support of the Friends of the Crisis Nursery. Woo! All right. We also want to thank Fisher Phillips and Alden Parker. Boy, Fisher Phillips has really supported the Friends of the Crisis Nurseries Founders High Tea as the presenting sponsor for the last two years. Of course, Alden is the husband of past event chair Kara Parker and is the managing partner of the firm's Sacramento office. Thank you so much. UC Davis Children's Hospital. UC Davis Children's Hospital has been so very generous with the Sacramento Children's Home for many years. They have sponsored Lux for Life, Sacramento Century Challenge, and contributed many gifts to the Sacramento Children's home and the crisis nursery uc davis children's hospital thank you for your support thank you so much and also a big thank you to tri counties bank they have been so generous they're a community partner and sponsor of several of the sacramento children's home events over the year tri's county bank tri county banks has just a long history of really investing in the financial success and the well-being of our community their staff has had such strong involvement as well. We want to personally thank Janet, Judy. Uh, we also want to thank Scott um, just for being so involved and supporting the Sacramento Children's Home and the Crisis Nursery. Anna and Mike Buck. Anna and Mike Buck have been very generous supporters of the Ch Ch Sacramento Children's Home Crisis Nursery for several years. Anna serves as a board member of the Friends of the Crisis Nursery and has been a major supporter. Anna and Mike Buck, thank you. Also, Maggie Cox. Thank you, Maggie, a board member of the Friends of the Crisis Nurseries and a generous supporter of all of these events. She gives so much to the Children's Crisis Nursery throughout the year. She also organizes the twice annual Gifting Grandma's Luncheons that have raised thousands of dollars for the Crisis Nursery over the year. And Maggie, really, she gives all of herself, her time, her talent, and her treasure. Pat Angolia. Thank you very much, Patricia. Pat and Golia family have been supporting the Sacramento Children's Home for many years. They've served on committees, attended many Sacramento Children's Home events, donated to their Hawaii home to help support our auctions, and they're very, very appreciated. 
uh, her late son, John, also organized the annual commercial realtor softball tournament that raised tens of thousands of dollars mm -hmm. for the crisis nursery program. Pat and Golia, thank you. Also, as I mentioned, Kara Parker is a former member of the Friends of the Crisis Nursery Board and is the founder and former chair of the Founders High Tea event, both in 2019 and 2020. We love Kara. She's given just a tremendous amount of her time over the past few years to ensure the success of both events. Maria and Todd Sperber. Ladies and gentlemen, had an opportunity to chat with Maria, and she is unbelievable. She has the hugest heart for the Friends of the Crisis Nursery. Maria and Todd Sperber. Maria, our board president. We can't say enough. So many thank yous to Maria and Todd for their generous support. They provide so much to Sacramento Children's Home and the Crisis Nursery Program. Maria has given countless hours of her time as both the past and current president of the Friends of the Crisis Nurseries Board. Both her and Todd have donated so much to the Crisis Nursery. She and Todd attended virtually every Sacramento Children's Home event and has given very, very generously. Thank you very much to Maria and Todd Sperber. We're so lucky to have folks like them in our community. And we certainly want to mention Miss Christy Weiss because she's actually new to the Friends of the Crisis Nurseries Board. She is an avid supporter of the Sacramento community, had actually offered her time to the Fairy Tale Town Board for years. She's been a longtime supporter of the nursery and finally made the leap to board member, and we are just thrilled to have her. So Christy, thank you and all of our big donors tonight. Also, our board members, of course, putting this on. We could not do any of this without you. Maria, as you mentioned, our president, Margot, Suzanne, Anna Buck, longtime member and auction chair, Maggie Cox, Michelle Fortes, Patty Gattenbein, Janet Rollison, and of course, Christy Weiss, as I just mentioned. Ladies and gentlemen, there are so many people to thank this afternoon, and we even have more. That's the amount of people that come together to support the crisis nurseries in a huge way. Our Sacramento Children's Home board members, we want to give a special thank you to Todd, Lisa, Alan, Meredith, Leah, Mark, Ryan, Nick, Geneva, Angelica, Riley, Mustafa, Joe, Bhavnash, Rain, Lisa, Dusty, Julie, Vidu, Nicole, Colin, Amy, and a huge shout out to the Sacramento Children's Home staff, Todd, Nick, Ann, and Dr. David Baker, our CEO. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. Yeah. Woo. So <laughs> you can see how many people it takes to put this together to keep these critical programs running. And so whether or not you are a supporter, a board member, you're a friend of a friend of a friend, we're just so glad that you're here to support this incredible group. Again, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Friends of the Crisis Nurseries Founders High Tea, benefiting Sacramento Children's Home Crisis Nursery. We're so grateful you're here. We see all of the love in the chat bar. Jenny Silva wanted to know when the auction ends. Our live auction items will be ending, closing live during our live auction, Jenny. And then the silent auction will close at 3 o'clock today. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we have so many people that make to this afternoon possible. We're very, very grateful. Without further ado, Maria Sperber, our board president of the Friends of the Crisis Nursery, to give us a brief welcome. Please enjoy. Good afternoon, my name is Maria Sperber and I'm the president of the Friends of the Crisis Nurseries. On behalf of our board and the Sacramento Children's Home, thank you for joining our virtual event today. We sincerely appreciate your support and hope you will share the mission of the Crisis Nursery Program with others in our community. As you will soon learn, the Crisis Nursery Program protects our most vulnerable children from abuse and neglect, something that unites our board and is at the core of our mission. The nurseries are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week for children newborn to age five during times of crisis. Fundraising and sharing our mission with the Sacramento community furthers our efforts and ensures that our nurseries will be available to our children when they need it most. Again, thank you for your participation today. We certainly can't do it without you, so please donate, bid, and most of all, have fun. Maria Sperber, thank you so very much. Mm. Wow, it, just a huge heart. And that's what today's about, folks. It's about supporting the most vulnerable children in our community to help protect them to not be abused and neglected. And you're going to have an opportunity to hear some very, very powerful stories here very shortly. Wow. It's just really amazing when you think about what goes into the love and care for these children. Um, this is something that's voluntary, it's free for our community, and for people who are really in that crisis situation, boy, what an amazing thing to have to be able to lean on, especially as a young mother. Yeah, I, 
you know, when, when I had an opportunity to learn more about the Friends of the Crisis Nursery, there, you know, there's so many things that we can fundraise for, but children yeah. and I'm protecting in. children yeah. from neglect and abuse. I, you know, I was revisiting and watching some of our videos that you're seeing today, this morning, and it honestly gave me chills. Mm -hmm. I, I cannot even imagine, you know, being a parent, being a family member in a situation, needing that support. And as you're going to learn more about this afternoon, it, you know, we've heard many times it takes a village to raise a child. Yeah. And, and as you're going to hear from Rain and some other uh, folks today that, you know, everybody's village looks different. Yeah. And, you know, fundraising for children and, and tonight and this afternoon, I just cannot thank you enough. And all of you there at home, you know the impact that Friends of Crisis Nurseries had in your lives and has touched your lives in a huge way. And we're just grateful to be here. So Kelly, if you want to introduce our, our next piece. Yes, we want to really show you what this program is all about from a mother and just a little bit more about the Crisis Nursery. Take a look at this and we'll chat on the other side. Child abuse and neglect typically doesn't just happen. It's compounding factors of stress that impact the entire family unit. When these stressors go unidentified and parents don't have the support they need to address those things, the risk of child abuse and neglect dramatically increases. The Crisis Nursery Program is here to lend parents the support that they need when they're dealing with very challenging circumstances. We provide emergency child care to children birth through age five when their caregivers are really trying to get a hold of what's happening within that entire family unit. You know, they say it takes a village to raise a child but not everyone's village looks the same. Um, not everyone has supportive uncles and aunties and friends and grandparents to help um, in times of need. And I was one of those parents. After I had my daughter, um, unfortunately, I, was, I found myself sidelined by postpartum depression. And that really took a toll on me. I was completely overwhelmed in trying to take care of a new baby and manage my relationship with her father with little to no family support. Um, fortunately, somebody in my complex um, saw me <laughs> with my baby in tow and spit up on my shirt and baby crying and came up to me and, and said, sweetheart, there's a place you can go to. I know where they can help you. And she recommended the crisis nursery, which was a place she formerly volunteered many years before that. First couple of times meeting the people here, how warm and welcoming and kind they are, you know, we, I was willing to accept that help and that help has really propelled our family forward exponentially. You know, we've been able to do so much more with our lives and with our children. Not only just the help of the crisis nursery, but the fact that we know we have that helping hand if we ever need it. And we trust the people that work here and we're very thankful for that and just having that peace of mind is something that I, I can't express the value of. So as a case manager, I meet with the families that are experiencing crisis and we develop a crisis resolution plan, meeting the family right where their needs are and what their current situation is. That first initial meeting is just kind of developing the plan of what they may be currently experiencing. For example, um, if a family is unhoused and they're needing some housing resources, meeting with the family and getting them registered for the family shelters or if it's connecting them with family members that could be of support during this time. Community support that we get really keeps our program going, that support that our donors, um, individuals in our community that are just wanting to provide some help, those, um, those donations of formula or diapers or um, food gift cards is really what helps keep our kids um, meeting those basic needs every day. I didn't have those resources, I didn't have that village. So my village looked a little bit different. Part of my village was the crisis nursery. And it was a huge resource in times of need um, to help kind of be that safety net when I needed to take care of my own health or take care of emergency situations. And I'm so grateful that I truly can call it part of my village. Um, without it, I, I knew I wouldn't be where I am today. To sustain the Sacramento Children's Home Crisis Nursery Program, we rely on the support of community members like you. 
Your generous support enables us to serve some of the most vulnerable children and families in our community free of charge during their time of urgent need. And that's what really just touches my heart. You know, I think when you look at programs like this and you're a mom, I know there's so many moms that are watching, but I think for me, Freddie, it's, you know, I look back on when my child was in the ages that this crisis nursery accepts kids from, you know, newborn to five. And to be honest, and, and I know most mothers would agree, it is a very difficult time. It is the best thing in the world to ever happen to you. Like my daughter's my entire world. But I know that time is extremely stressful, and I feel very lucky that I had, you know, girlfriends that I could lean on, um, help that, you know, support around me. And so really, I think at the end of the day, all a mom really wants for their baby is to be loved and to feel safe. And if a mother is going through something that may be abusive, that may be a really critical situation to have a place where she can bring her child to be loved and feel safe, there is no shame in that. That for a mother is just the best feeling in the world to know that their child's taken care of. And so I, I feel for these moms. I know how difficult it is, but I also recognize just the true angels that work at these, you know, um, Gosh, I just, I watch some of the videos online too, and I see the women who are, you know, with these babies and holding them like their own, and they're just true angels, truly. Yeah, you know, what really hit me with the video that we just saw was Rain. You know, Rain mm -hmm. talked about, this is the safety net. Yeah. This is the safety net for my life. Mm -hmm. And wow. So, ladies and gentlemen, after we get a chance to hear from our a final speaker uh, before we get into our fund and need. I just want to remind you that after Christina's story here, we're going to go into our live fund and need. This will be an opportunity for you to support with us live towards supporting the Sacramento Children's Home. And you know, what, what do you know, Todd? Mark Heller just came in at Aww. 500. Wow. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you can start to see that we've already have a lot of gifts that have come into our fund and need to support throughout the hour. Mark Heller at 500 and Julie Gutzwiller at 600, John and Ann Carly, Carlisle at 100, Patricia Gattenbein at 250, 150, 2000 from Lynn and Ken Hall, UC Davis Children's Hospital, Emily Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. We're going to revisit our fund and need after we hear from Christina. And this, uh, we'll get into our live fund and need just shortly. So, um, Kelly, if maybe you want to maybe queue up uh, Christina. And yeah, well, like we said, we, we just want to, we love hearing about these mothers and their experiences. It really, I think, brings it home and what their experience is like. So let's introduce you to Christina. Take a look. My name is Christina, and I have been using the crisis nursery for about five years. I hadn't known that anything like this had existed. I actually had heard by word of mouth, and which ended up saving us because we had literally nobody to watch our son. It definitely did help uh, resolve the issue. Um, I had to use them for an extended period of time, um, but every day it made my situation easier because I had somebody to be able to watch my son while I took care of what I needed to take care of, uh, knowing that he's cared for, knowing that he's okay, knowing what's happening with him, um, all of that. It, it definitely makes everything so much easier for sure. So the fact that resources were offered, the fact that a ride was offered, um, and they would accommodate with so many things. Um, you know, of course it's a given they're gonna ask about allergies and stuff like that, but they really tune in and care on what each individual child likes or doesn't like or has a favorite. Um, so I thought they'd really go above and beyond. And that was that was also, words can't explain, the gratitude that we have for, for that. The outcome of using Crisis Nursery um, there's really no words to explain for, at least for me in my situation. Um, our lives are forever, forever changed. And I can't express that enough. Um, we would not be where we are today if it wasn't for them. I would be one of the many who there would be hope, no hope for. If there wasn't crisis nursery, I'd be one of the many out there probably flailing in the wind. Um, 
with no no chance and feeling like life has just beat me and um, there is no hope and having no positive outlook. And that's just an awful situation for, at the time, a new mom to feel about having a brand new life in the world. Our living situation, we went from nothing, having literally nothing, to where they were able to watch our son. I was able to take care of what I needed to take care of to where we moved out of where we were living, um, which wasn't much. We were able to get a car. We were able to get things that we didn't have. And it all stemmed from taking care of everything we needed to take care of. And with doing that, having somebody to watch our child, to be able to do the responsibilities and to take care of what we needed to take care of. Up until now, I still have to use them for doctor's appointments and things I can't take my son to. If I don't make those appointments, um, I could be in a world of hurt too. Being that they're an option for Christian, it's it's a blessing to me. It's a blessing literally in disguise. If they weren't here, I don't even know what we would do. So um, it's definitely, by having them open has saved my life. And by saving my life is helping Christian's life. Yes, Christina. Thank you, Christina. You know, when Christina says, by saving my life, you've saved Christian's life. Ladies and gentlemen, now is an opportunity for us to come together and make a huge difference for the Friends of the Crisis Nursery at our Founders High Tea. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to make a gift, you can do that now. But I want to ex I want to share with you what your dollar can do this afternoon. Now on the screen, you're going to see about our fund in need. And I want to share with you that here's what your dollar can do. At $10,000, you could provide 40 children with a safe overnight stay at the crisis nurseries while assisting the parents like Christina in resolving crisis situations. 10,000 would provide 40 children with a safe overnight. 5,000 could fund the Crisis Nurseries Baby Boutique for an entire year, ensuring families have the necessities they need to care for their young child even after they have left the Crisis Nurseries. 2,500 provides 50 days worth of nutritious food for 20 children at the Crisis Nurseries. 1,000 allows us to serve five children and their parents for the year. 500 allows our trained case managers to work with families to resolve crisis situations. 250 covers the cost of one child to stay at a full day and night in the stay in a safe environment of the crisis nurseries free from abuse and neglect. $100 helps provide transportation to and from the crisis nurseries for folks like Christina. Ladies and gentlemen, now is an opportunity for us to come together and make a huge difference. And I am genuinely delighted to share with you some very exciting news before we kick off our fund to need. I am excited to let you know that I have a note here. This came from Maria Sperber to share with us that to kick off this afternoon's fund to need, the Terra Family Foundation, a private Family Funded Foundation has generously supported the Sacramento Children's Home Crisis Nursery Program for many years. They would like to announce the establishment of the Anne McCall Memorial Fund to honor the memory of Anne McCall after her recent passing. Her family created the Terra Foundation in 2007 and the Sacramento Children's Home was one of the first nonprofits chosen for their donations. This afternoon, the Terra Family Foundation, in memory of Ann McCall, is going to start off our fund to need at $25,000, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Let's give a lot of love for the Terra Family Foundation. And Ann McCall, thank you for all of your support of the Sacramento Children's Home for many years. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I'm wondering if there's anybody at home would like to come in at $10,000 or more can make a huge difference this afternoon for us to support our children and our families and parents in our community. Here we go, folks. If you'd like to make a gift, you can do that 
by clicking on Donate to Fund a Need on the fcn2021.ggo.bid link. You've got the QR code up here, the links down there. Donate to Fund a Need is an opportunity. We see the $25,000 from the Terra Family Foundation in honor of Ann McCall. Ladies and gentlemen, the chat bar, the chat bar for the Terra Family Foundation Sacramento Children's Home, thank you. Ann Checkley, thank you so very much to the Terra Family Foundation. Sacramento Children's Home, thank you. Patricia Gattenbein, thank you so very much. Maria Sperber, thank you. Dr. David Baker, thank you. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm wondering if there's anybody this afternoon would like to come in at 10,000 or more, make a huge difference. How about 7,500? If there's anybody who wants to come in at 7,500 and 5,000. If there's anybody this afternoon, together, we can make a huge difference to support the Friends of the Crisis Nurseries. Here we go, folks. I'm wondering if there's anybody like to come in at 5,000. Our board president, Maria Sperber, said incredible. Thank you so very much to the Terra Family Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, at 5,000, you can make a huge difference this afternoon. We're doing it virtual. If you're struggling for any reason, you can call the phone number below. That'll go directly to Todd Kulakian, Director of Philanthropy, Sacramento Children's Home. You can make your gift with Todd on the phone now, and we can add that here. Also, if you're struggling for any reason, you can donate in the chat bar towards our fund in need by typing your first and last name and the dollar amount that you'd like to give. So if you're struggling for any reason this afternoon, you can call the number and donate there on the phone lines. You can also donate here uh, where we would encourage you to go to fcn2021.ggo.bid. And if you're struggling for any other reason, you can donate in our YouTube chat bar by typing in your first and last name and the dollar amount that you'd like to give. So here we go. Kelly, if you wouldn't mind just refreshing over there on my, yep, appreciate it. Here we go. I'm wondering who would like to come in, make a huge difference for us at 5,000, maybe 2,500. Here we go, folks. At 2,500 or $1,000, anybody that wants to come in, now you can and support us in a huge way. We've already got the 2,000 here from Lynn and Ken Hall. Thank you very much. Miss Emily Brown, thank you very much at $1,000. We've got 500 from Mark Heller, 600 from Julie Gutzwiller, 100 from Michelle Fortes, our uh, CEO, Sacramento Children's Homes, Dr. David Baker at 100. We've got 100 from John and Ann Carlisle, 150 from Ann Checkley, 100 from Pauline Buck. 100 from Janet Phil, Todd Kulakian, Ch Todd Kulakian. Yep, folks, gifts are coming in. Here we go. We've got Todd at 500. Thank you very much, Todd, with Sacramento Children's Home. We've got Annette Jumper at 500. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're at 32,000. Here we go, folks. Together, right now, we can make a huge difference. If you'd like to make a gift, $100. And five thousand dollars our board president friends of the crisis nursery maria and todd and maria sperber thank you very much todd and maria sperber at five thousand dollars our board president that's what tonight that's what this afternoon's all about folks it's everyone coming together and it's starting with our board right here coming together in a huge way we're at thirty-seven thousand, folks I'm wondering who would like to come in right now. Janet Rolfson, thank you very much, Janet, at 500. Thank you very much, Janet. Yes, folks, we've got gifts coming in. We're on our way to $40,000 together right here this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm wondering who would like to come in at 5,000, 2,500, 1,000, 1,500. Rebecca Clark, thank you, at 250, Rebecca. Yes, folks, we're on our way to surpassing $40,000. Here we go, folks. We've got so much love in the chat bar. Thank you, everyone. We appreciate it. Thank you. Wow. We've got Rebecca coming in, Maria, Angelina, Annette, Todd. Yes, folks. Wow. I'm wondering who else would like to come in right now, folks. We are on our way to $40,000. I'm wondering who would like to make that gift. If you'd like to come in and make a huge difference for us, I'm wondering who else would like to come in at any level this afternoon. We're on our way to surpassing 40,000, and I know we can keep it going, folks. Here we go. We'll give it one last chance. Uh, Kelly, Kelly DeMarco's in the chat bar. She's, she's commenting for me. She says, Kelly, am amazing everyone. We feel the love. Kelly, why don't you just come here live? <laughs> We've got 250 with Rebecca. Kelly, come check this out. Wow. I'm just watching all of these amounts come in, and it's so heartwarming to see. They just keep going up and up and up. So what did you say again, Freddie? 250 yeah. is for one night, right? So that in itself covers the cost for one child 
for a full day and night. That's, right. that's incredible. Folks, the $250 level is our magic level. So folks, I'm wondering who else would like to come in, make a huge difference for us at $250, $500. Here we go. I'm wondering who else might like to come in. I'm, we're looking to maybe surpass 40,000 right here, right now. Here it is, folks. We'll give it one final push, one last chance. If anybody else wants to come in, we can make a huge difference here. All right, here we go. We've got Rebecca Clark, Angelina Hagen said so many generous folks. We're very grateful for your support. Yes, yes, we've got, yes, Angelina, Angelina Hagen at 250. Thank you very much, Great. Angelina. Yes, folks, here we go. I'm wondering who else would like to come in. If we can get just seven more at 250, that would surpass $40,000, folks. I'm wondering who else might want to come in here, make a huge difference for us. Last chance, here it is. We'll give it about maybe 90 more seconds. One final push. Here we go, folks. One final round. Let's see if we can surpass 40,000. Yes, we've got Julie Gutzwiller at $100. Thank you very much, Julie. Folks, we're, we are 1,700 away from 40,000. We can do it together right here. Here it is, folks. I'm wondering who else would like to come in? Here it is. And ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon is huge. This afternoon, you are making a huge difference to support the protection of our children and our community from abuse and neglect in a huge way. I'm wondering who else might want to come in, folks. Last one. Thank you, everyone. Yes, we're so close to 40,000. Folks, let's do one final push here. Even if you've already given, even if you've already given, maybe we can give one more time. If everybody right now gave 100 or 250, we would surpass $40,000. So I'm wondering who would like to come in? Yes, we've got Michelle Fortes at $100. Folks, even if you've already given, you can give one more time, maybe $100. If we just had 16 at 100, we'd surpass 40,000 together. Here we go, folks. I'm wondering who else would like to come in? I've got Michelle Fortes at $100. Julie, thank you. Ann Checkley coming back in again at 250. Thank you very much, Ann. Folks, yes, yes, Rachel Han, I'm here. Here at the crisis nurseries right now the staff and myself are amazed at all of your generous support thank you R rachel han here yes folks here we go at a hundred dollars which together we can surpass forty thousand right here right now i'm wondering who else would like to come in last one yes we've got folks calling the phone lines right now yep yep what what Folks, on the phone lines, Todd, just let me know, Edie and Bill Richmond are going to donate $1,000. Thank you very much, Edie and Bill Richmond. Ladies and gentlemen, you can call the phone line and make a gift there if you'd like. You can give your gift in the chat bar. We've got 500 from Josh Pulliam. Pulliam. Thank you very much, Josh. We've got the 1000 coming in from Edie and Bill of Richmond. Folks, we're over 40000 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Folks. Wow, woo, that was cool. All right, Angelina Hagen said goosebumps. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Wow, yes, there it is. Edie and Bill Richmond at $1,000. We'll have an opportunity to give our amazing Founders Award. Yes, we've got more coming in. Right. <laughs> Emily Schroeder at $100. Thank you very much, Emily. Here we go. Last push, folks. Last one together right here. Even if you haven't had a chance, you can still call the phone and talk to Todd. You can give it in the chat bar. 250 with Colleen. We've got 250 with Colleen. We're at 40,500. Here we go. Here we go. Maybe five more. We could surpass 41. Anybody else wants to come in? We've got Colleen and Emily coming in here. Last one. Thanks. Yo, oh, wait. Todd's on the phone again. Todd, what do we got, Todd? Todd's on the phone lines. A hundred dollars on the phone lines. Yes! Thank you very much, folks. You can give however you'd like right now. You can call the phone and talk to Todd. We'll even bring Todd up and you can call him on the phone, maybe. Here we go, folks. We got so much love. Thank you. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a lot of fun. Thank you so very much for your support. We are going to continue to revisit our fund to need, but we're going to move into our live auction right here, right now. So do us a favor. We're going to move very quickly through our live auction items. We would encourage you that you go back to the homepage of fcn2021.ggo.bid. You'll see our first live auction item, which is the Cindy Wilson beach ball sculpture. We're going to start with that item and then work our way through. 
Kelly's gonna tell you about the first item, but ladies and gentlemen, I would encourage that you find the Cindy Wilson Beach Ball. You can start to be bidding there. You can continue to give to our fund and need at any point this afternoon by calling the phone, typing in the chat, or donating here at the fund of need. So here we go. Our first live auction item. Kelly, what do we got? And you know what, just by the way, I know things are getting good when Freddie starts to sweat. That's how we know the temperature's going up on that little gauge there. Freddie, you're so good. Love the energy. Let's talk about the live auto items because I just love this artist so much. Cindy Wilson, you've probably seen these beach balls around Sacramento. She's one of the best known Sacramento artists. And this round piece, by the way, it looks light and fluffy, like something you could throw around. No, no, no. This is a really amazing, it has concrete in it. Um, she's got this beautiful um, kiln that she paints. It's 12 inches around. And she created this just specifically for our event this afternoon. Her work has been collected nationwide, not just in Sacramento, but through so many private collectors. You would want one of these beach balls, maybe by the pool, maybe on the mantle. Um, did you know, Freddie, she was actually photographed by the Library of Congress, and it's in the permanent records in Washington, D.C. I just love how playful she is, and this sculpture really represents Sacramento. All right, folks, the Cindy Wilson Beach Ball. I've got Andrea Westberg at 1750. Megan Vincent, you've been outbid. Jenny Silva, you've been outbid as well. Jenny, I saw your comment in the chat bar earlier wondering when the auction ends. Well, the auction ends right here, right now on our first live auction item, the Cindy Wilson Beach Ball sculpture. Here we go. I've got Andrea Westberg at 1750. I'm looking for $2,000. Kelly, if we can go check that out. I think we've got a bid here. Yeah, if you could just click that for me. I've got 17 1750. Yeah, there it is. Jenny Silva's at 2000. Here we go. Andre, I'm looking for 2250. Here we go. I've got 2000 with Jenny. It's good now, Kelly. I'm looking for 2250. I've got 2000 with Jenny. I'm looking for 2250. Andrea, last chance. The Cindy Wilson Beach Ball. I'm going to sell it right here in five seconds. Andrea, if you want it, now's the chance. Megan Vincent, if you want to come in, we're looking for 2250 on the Cindy Wilson Beach Ball sculpture. It is a. Tw it is going to be unbelievable in the chat bar. Yeah! <laughs> Megan Vincent coming in at 2250. Yeah. Jenny, we're looking for 25. Jenny, 25. Jenny, I've got 2250 with Megan Vincent. Jenny Silva, it's another 250 for the Cindy Wilson Beach Ball sculpture. Last one, Jenny Silva. I gotta close it in three, in two. Here we go, Jenny. I can feel it. I can feel it, Jenny. Here it is. Another 250, Jenny. One more chance. Last one. We gotta go, Jenny Silva. In three, in two, in one. Megan Vincent's got it at 2250. Last chance. Dave Richmond in the chat bar said this is fantastic. Here it is. We're having fun. Here here it is, so much fun. I've got Andrea came in at 25. Yeah. Woo! We've got Andrea at 25. Megan, I'm looking for 2750. I've got Andrea at 2500, 2750. The most fun we've had on a Friday afternoon together. I'm looking for 2750 with Megan. Last chance. Jenny, if you want to come in, I gotta sell it. I've got Andrea at 25. It's one more click. It's one last, one last click. Here it is. 2750. I can feel it. Megan, you're thinking about it. I'm not sure. Jenny, do we want to come in? Last one. 2750. I gotta sell it. We gotta move on. Last one. It is going to close in just a second. Anybody else? Andrea is at 25. Last one, <laughs> Dave Richmond in the chat bar. He's Dave Richmond is just flying high in the chat bar. He, L E T. What? What is? Right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Dave Richmond, we're having fun. Let's go. Andre is at twenty five. Last one. I gotta sell it. We gotta move on. Here it is. Closing it in one final countdown. Three, two, one. It is now closed. It is now closed. Congratulations. Thank you, everybody, for all your bidding. We're going to move into our second live auction. That was a lot of fun to kick us off. Here we go. Get ready. Get set. We would encourage you to go back to that link. Go to our second live auction item. Kelly's going to tell you about it. We're going to bid it up nice and tall, super fast. Woo! All right, Andrea Westberg. Congratulations. It's going to look beautiful at your home. All right, let's talk Tahoe. We This next one is a three-night stay in Truckee. And let me just tell you a little bit about this. This is a three-night stay at Schaefer's Mill. Um, it's a beautiful, spacious home. It has three self-contained master suites. Don't you love when they do that? Each room is just huge and has its own bathroom. Uh, sleeps eight people comfortably. Also, a really nice modern kitchen. Look at all the snow in that picture. You know, this is comfortable for relaxing in the summertime. You can sit out on the deck, maybe grill something. And then also want to let you know that it's super close to ski or 
to play golf in the summer. So either way, whenever you want to rent this and take it up, it's a good time to be in Truckee. All right, let's go to Truckee, ladies and gentlemen. I've got Steve Williamson at 1100. I'm looking for 12. Patricia, we're back to you. I'm looking for 1200. Maybe uh, Patricia and Steve been going back and forth. I've got 1100 with Steve Williamson. I'm looking for $1,200 for going to Truckee. Here it is. Maybe uh, Dr. David Baker wants to come back in. Maybe Nick Hauser. I'm not sure, but I've got Steve here at 1100. He's in the lead. I'm looking for one more bid, maybe 1200. Here it is. Rebecca Clark said, thanks very much, Andrea. We're super excited. I'm I'm looking for $1,200. Last one, we gotta move on. We might sell this one quick. Steve, you might be getting it right here, right now. This is a three night stay at the Schaefer's Mill, beautiful Truckee. Woo, I know I'm talking really fast, but folks, here it is. Last one, last chance in the chat bar. Anybody wants to go? The Truckee house could be yours. Here it is, Steve Williamson at 1100. Gonna sell it in five, in four, in three, in two. Andrea in the chat bar said, I have the perfect place for it in our new home. Yes, Steve's here at 1100. Gonna sell it in three, two, one. Last chance. Anybody else wants to come in? Last one, last call, last one. Steve's got it. It is going to now close. Oh! In the last second, Dr. David Baker, CEO, Sacramento Children's Home, came in out of nowhere. Steve Williamson oh, back. Steve. David, let's go back. I'm like, we're at 14. David, I got Steve at 13. They just came on fire, folks. Here we go. We're supporting Sacramento Children's Home in a huge way right now. I've got Steve at 13. I'm like, we're at 1,400. Last one. Todd Kulakian, I think your comment in the chat bar helped us out. Woo! Woo! Okay, here it is, folks. We've got 13 with Steve. I'm like, we're at 1,400. Last one. 14. Here we go. David, if you want to come back in. Last one. I've got Steve at 13. Going to sell it. i got to sell it. we got to move on. Todd in the chat bar said, David, question mark. Here we go. I'm looking for 1,400. The, 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 the chat bar is on fire. From Maria Sperber, she said, the house is amazing. The house is absolutely amazing. Rebecca Clark, come on, David. Yes, here it is. I got 1,300 with Steve. I'm looking for 1,400. Last one. We got some excitement out of nowhere that came in at the end. Last one. <laughs> Todd in the chat bar, I love it. Actually, I think this is Nick. Here we go, folks. 1400, last one, gonna sell it, last chance. T uh, David made it interesting. We're gonna sell it to Steve. Five, four, three, two, one. It is now closed. It is now closed. Congratulations. That was a lot of fun. Here we go. Kelly, what's next? Wow, Steve, congratulations. And David Baker coming in hot on that one. I love it. All right, let's move on to the next one. This is the private sushi dinner for six people, five of your best friends. And this is so great. I love these dinners because they come to your house. You have your own private chef in your own kitchen. Ed Sullivan will provide a menu with surf and turf, mostly surf, and it, he will be happy to modify it to your liking. Um, he's gonna bring all the dishware, all the plates, all the forks, and the best part, He's going to clean up everything when it's done. You know how it is. You have the dinner party and then everybody leaves and you've got a kitchen full of dirty dishes, but not this chef. He's going to take care of it for you and he will be in your house four to five hours. So this is a great night for your five best friends, Freddie. Wow. Folks, here we go. Sushi in your home. This is going to be a memorable experience. You're going to have a lot of fun and you don't have to do the dishes. Here it is. I got Patricia at $1,000. Rachel, I'm looking for $1,100. I'm looking for $1,100. Who would like to come in? Maria Sperber, who doesn't love sushi? Here it is. I'm looking for $1,100. I've got Patricia here at $1,000. I'm looking for $1,100. Rachel Hahn, it's one more click. One more click. Maybe Rachel, you can take the entire staff with you there. I'm not sure. I know we saw Rachel in here earlier. Here we go. I'm looking for 1100 last one. We're going to sell it. This one might sell quick. There's Nancy coming in out of nowhere. Nancy is 1100 How about 12 Patricia, I'm looking for 1200 I've got Nancy Hinton at 1100 I'm looking for 12 Todd Kalakian said, thanks, Steve. We, we love you, man. M Rebecca Clark said, Michelle. Michelle says, do it. Whip, whip, whip. whip. Do it. Here we go. I got Nancy at 1100 I'm looking for 12 Patricia, back to you. Do you want to come in? 1200 Sushi. Here it is gonna have a lot of fun. I've got Nancy at 11. Last one. Here it is. We're gonna move on in five, four, three, two, one. I was wondering if somebody was coming in. I've got 1100 with Nancy. Last one. Oh. Woo! 
Patricia came in out of nowhere at 1400. Ladies and gentlemen, you can bid as much as you want. Patricia's at 1400. Nancy, oh, we're looking for 1500. Nancy, I've got 14 with Patricia. Patricia wants it bad. I, here we go. I'm looking for 1500. I've got Patricia at 14. Nancy, it's oh, another click. Nancy. Last one. <laughs> yeah. Janet Rolfson said, Nancy Hinton and I are at my house at Lake Almanor and it is going to be a blast. Here it is. I'm looking for 1500. Last one. 15. Last one. Patricia's at 14. Nancy came in at 15. Ooh, Ooh Nancy, Nancy Patricia. Nancy Patricia. Every bidding tonight and this afternoon, folks, is making a huge difference for us. Here we go. I got Nancy at 15. Patricia, do you want to come in at 16? I'm looking for 1600, maybe 17, 18, 2000. I'm not sure. I'm looking for 1600 or more. Patricia, last one. I can feel it, Patricia. I know you want it. I don't want to sell it to you, but I, I'm, I've got Nancy here in the lead at 15. Nancy, I'm going to try to get it for you too, but right now we're going for Patricia. Here it is. I'm looking for Patricia. 16 or more. 16, 17, 18, 19, 2000. Anybody want to come in? 1600. Last chance. Patricia, I can feel it. Maybe one click. One last one. Maria Sperber said, send pictures. I'm jealous. Lake Almanor is so beautiful. Here it is. Last one. 1600. Patricia, last call. In five, in four, in three, in two, in one. We're going to sell it. We're going to move on. Patricia, last one. Woo, 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 woo. I, I can feel it. I can feel it. All right. It is now close. It is now closed. Congratulations. That was a lot of fun. Kelly, what's next? $1,500. That's going to do so much for our kids. Thank you so much, Nancy. I love that rivalry between Nancy and Pat. I wonder if they're going to be arguing about this later. Maybe they'll just invite each other, right, Freddie? Maybe yeah. they'll just invite each other. Okay, let's do this one. This is the three-night stay at Lake Almanor that we've been talking about. This is one of Northern California's treasures. It is so gorgeous up there. Three-night stay at beautiful Lake Almanor. It's just three hours for Sacramento, so it's a perfect getaway. Don't have to get on a plane. Don't have to deal with travelers. You just get up there and sit down and relax. This home includes all sorts of different bedrooms with different sizes. And basically, eight people can stay at this house. You can enjoy hiking at Lassa National Park. You can boat. You can kayak. They even have bocce ball up there. Look at that view. It's just incredible. Tennis, pickleball, the latest and greatest thing. Freddie, we got to get out there. We've been talking about playing pickleball. And you can also use the golf cart. I mean, just for the golf cart to like run around the neighborhood. Exactly, right? I mean, I would bid just for the golf cart. Let's open it up. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have some fun. I got Don Curtis at 800. Dr. David Baker, we're back in at 900. Todd's on the phone lines talking to someone. I'm not sure if we got... Oh, yeah, of course. Edie Richmond, yep. Edie Richmond coming in, $1,000, Lake, Alm Lake Almanor. Folks, here it is. I've got $1,000 with Edie Richmond on Lake Almanor. I'm looking for 1100 11 Don, you've been outbid. Uh, Dr. David Baker, you've been outbid as well. And uh, Janet Rolfson said, Nancy is jacked. Yay. <laughs> here we go. There's Dr. David Baker, you've still been outbid because Edie Richmond's currently at $1,000. I've got Edie at $1,000. She came in on the phone lines and called in with Todd. I've got $1,000 with Edie Richmond on the phone. I'm looking for $1,100. $1,100. Todd, keep Edie on the phone. Call her back because she might get outbid here. Um, I've got $1,000 I've got a, a with Edie. I'm looking for $1,100. Dr. David Baker, we're looking for $1,100. Don Curtis, last one. I've got $1,000 with Edie Richmond. I know, Dr. David Baker, it shows you in the lead, but you've currently been outbid. Here it is. I'm looking for $1,100. Last one, $1,100. Last chance. Here it is. I'm looking for $1,100. I've got $1,000 with Edie Richmond. We're going to sell it. Yep, there it is. Dr. David Baker. Todd, you got Edie on the phone. Todd, get Edie on the phone. I've got $1,100 with Dr. David Baker. Edie Richmond, call Todd. We're looking for $1,200. I'm looking for $1,200. Last one. I've got Dr. David Baker here at $1,100. We're, we're calling Edie on the phone and seeing if she wants to come in at 12. There's Jenny at 12. There we go. I got Jenny at 12. I'm looking for 13. I'm looking for 13. Dr. David Baker. Here we go, Todd. Let me know. We're looking for 1300 with Edie. I've got 12 with Jenny. I've got 12 with Jenny. Todd's on the phone with Edie. I've got 1200 with Jeannie Silva. I'm looking for $1,300. Dr. David Baker wants to come in. Last one. Jenny Silva's at 1200 Todd, we're looking for 1300 Yes, Dr. David Baker's at 13 Edie, if you want it, you're on the phone with Todd. I'm looking for 1400 I've got Dr. David Baker at 13 Jenny, do you want to come in at 14 Todd, how are we doing? 
Didn't answer. <laughs> I've got 13 with Dr. David Baker. I'm looking for 1,400. Jenny Silva, 14, last one. Edie, if you want to call, you can put it in the chat. Call Todd. Let us know if you want to go in 14. I've got Dr. David Baker at 13. Last one, 1,400. Todd, give her one more call. One last chance. Uh, Todd's calling you, Edie, if you want to get it at 1,400. Yes, I've got 1,300 with Dr. David Baker. Here it is. Here's what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. David Baker, I'm going to sell it to you for 1300 Jenny Silva, if you want to come in at 1300 I can sell it to you as well. I'm going to give you the chance. So Dr. David Baker, I'm going to sell it to you for 1300 And Jenny Silva, if you just come up another $100, I'll sell it to you for 1300 as well. Jenny Silva, if you just want to type in the chat bar and let us know if you'll take it at 1300 I can sell one to you as well. Thank you very much. We would appreciate it. Todd's on the phone. <laughs> Todd's making deals. Todd, uh, Todd, so Dr. David Baker, I'm going to sell it to you for 1300 Jenny Silva, if you just type in the chat bar, let us know if you want it for 1300 as well. I'll sell it to you as well. If I don't hear from you, Jenny, maybe we'll talk to Edie. Oh, who said, somebody said yes? Oh, oh there it is. Whoa. Jenny's going to take, yep, Jenny's going to take it at 1300 Ladies and gentlemen, that's $2,600 right there. Back to Sacramento Children's Home. Dr. David Baker at 1300 sold. Jenny Silva, 1300 wow. sold. Thank you very much for all your support. That was a lot of fun. Kelly, what's next? I love it. You're going to have so much fun up there. And again, $2,500, as a reminder, provides 50 days worth of nutritious food for 20 children at the crisis nurseries. That's huge. Thank you all so, so much for bidding on these fun items. All right, let's go to Mexico. And when I say let's go, like, let's really go. I mean, you can bring Freddie and I, we're really fun. We will be fun on this trip. If you need someone to go with, we are willing to help, okay? So let's look at this trip to Mexico. Um, basically, it's your choice. I love that about this package because you can go to Cabo if you want. You can go to Nuevo Vallarta, Acapulco, or Riviera Maya Cancun. That's my favorite area. Go for five days four nights at either a four or five star resort. This is just for your hotel, but it's the, all the accommodations that you would want for four or five days. Can you imagine just getting away to Mexico right now, just escaping the world's opening back up, people getting vaccines. They're, they even do now, um, they do COVID tests at the hotel. So they make it easy for you. I'm telling you, Mexico is doable. Right. All right. Let's go to Mexico. You can take Kelly with you. Here we go. <laughs> Maybe me. I don't know. <laughs> I'll do the dishes for you. I'll do everything if I go with you. I've got Angel Angelina here at 900. I'm looking for $1,000. Michelle Fortes, 1,000. Last one. Angelina, Michelle going back and forth. I've got 900 with Angelina. Going to sell it here in 10 seconds. Michelle, if you want it, we got to sell it. We're going to move on. Angelina's got it at 900. Last one. Here it is. Folks, valued at $1,500 going to Mexico five days, four nights, you're going to be on the beach for four nights, just enjoying yourselves, relaxing, maybe get a massage, play golf, maybe just sit at the beach all day, whatever you want to do. I've got 900 with Angelina. I'm looking for $1,000. Last chance, Michelle, if you want it, anybody wants to come in for the steal, Angelina Hagen here at a 900, going to sell it here in five, in four, in three, in two, in one, Angelina's got it at 900. Last chance, anybody else? Last one, gonna sell it, gonna move on. Anybody's coming in at the last second. It is going to now close. It is now closed. Congra congratulations, have a lot of fun. That's gonna be a good time. Kelly, we've only got a few left. Wow, Angelina, congratulations. What a deal, you're gonna have so much fun. All right, let's look at the Four premium Kings tickets. I was just at a game the other night. I got to tell you, it's so fun to see our guys back in action. Everything's spread out. Uh, the food, of course, is amazing. The drink's amazing. This goes to the highest bidder and three guests. You are going to be seated close. Section 120 AAA, and that is center court. Get this. You are just six rows back from the floor. So not only are you going to get this incredible VIP near courtside experience, you're also going to be getting um, club access, which is huge. It includes free drinks and beverages before and during the game. It's just overall it would be so fun to maybe take a few couples or some kids. This is up close and personal. 
up close and personal, and it is going to be a lot of fun, and we're going to be back in person. You're going to have a great time. I've got Nikki here, Nikki Monk at 900. I'm looking for $1,000. Tammy, do you want to come in? 1,000. You're going to be right near the court. You're going to have all the bells and whistles. You're going to have a lot of fun. Todd in the chat bar said, congratulations. We got a lot of love coming in. Here it is. I'm looking for $1,000. 1,000. I've got Nikki Monk here at 900. Last one, looking for $1,000. Going to sell it in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last one. Last chance. Nikki's got it at 900. Going to sell it. Going to move on. Anybody else? Last one. It is going to now. Last one. Nikki, 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 Tammy. It is going to now. <laughs> Now, 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 it's going to now close. Congratulations. That was a lot of fun. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been so, so generous this afternoon. We're so very grateful. We're going to revisit our fund in need after Edie Richmond's award. I want to make a, a quick announcement for you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have our Gregory Condos uh, package in the live auction, and um, the team has decided uh, we just found out today that it is a original um, print. And it's a print, not an original painting. So um, we wanted to make sure that was clear with everyone. We've made the decision as a committee to remove that item. Uh, it's had a lot of action there, but we just feel more comfortable removing the item, um, seeing that uh, it is not an original, it is a print, and we just want to be right by everybody in that sense. So we're not going to sell that today, but we'll give you an opportunity. If you'd like to bid on that later at some other point, you'll be just fine with that. Thank you so very much for all of your bidding in today's live auction. We are going to come back and visit our fund in need after our presentation, but with, uh, without further ado, I have a lot of love, and you're going to really enjoy this special award. Please enjoy the award, Founders High T, Edie Richmond. It's a pleasure to be here today. My name is Todd Kulakian, and I'm the Director of uh, Philanthropy at the Sacramento Children's Home. And it's so nice to be here at Edie Richmond's beautiful home here in Carmichael. We're here today to present Edie with the Founders Award uh, for this upcoming Friday's Founders High Tea that we're having to support the Crisis Nursery. And we're presenting Edie with this Founders Award for all the work and advocacy and fundraising that she's done to support the crisis nursery over the years. Um, she has been around supporting the nursery since its inception back in 1996 and has really been instrumental in helping the nursery over the years from helping to fundraise on behalf of the nursery, um, going out and speak on, speaking on behalf of the nursery and just really having it be one of her passion projects in her life. And so we felt that there was no person uh, better deserving uh, this year of the Founders Award than Edie. And so Maria and I are here to present Edie with this award and thank her so much for all that she's done for the nursery over the years. So thank you so much, Edie, for having us and for all you've done for the nursery. Well, thank you. I'm touched and I'm honored. And I accept it with the knowledge that there were so many people involved in getting it started. Pauline Buck, Sue Bonk. Uh, Carol Lurie, people gave so much to, uh, to make it happen. And uh, now we have the Friends of the Crisis Nursery with people like you, Marie, who are uh, just in there doing what needs to be done. And uh, so it's a wonderful supported project that uh, people don't always understand. So I'd like to say just a couple of words about the nursery because uh, it, it um, is, of course, a program of the Sacramento Children's Home. And uh, it's there because when people have a uh, crisis in the, in the family, it can sometimes escalate into child abuse. And after studies discovered that the best thing we could do to prevent child abuse is to help these families when they are struggling with something that is just escalating out of control. It, uh, it affects the children, so the children misbehave. It's, it can be a very uh, bad situation. So when a parent brings a child to the crisis nursery, there are a number of things that can we can do to help them. And one is that there are counselors and social workers available to help them make a plan 
a plan to get over their crisis, and then a plan to uh, make sure that the crisis doesn't reoccur. Aside from uh, helping with these plans, uh, there are parenting classes that children, that parents can uh, take. And you know, often parents don't really have a manual for what to do. And a true. lot of people grow up without good parenting in their own lives, and so they don't know how to do it. Right. And uh, so it's an important part of what the crisis nursery can offer. Finally, if a child is uh, in imminent danger, they can bring a child to the crisis nursery and uh, keep the child there for up to a month. Now the parent has to come to visit. They have to uh, visit the child every day and they, they need to be working on their plan and check in with their uh, counselor to be sure that things are going along smoothly. It's a wonderful program and uh, we, I really believe that it has kept some children from very, very bad situations. So now we um, have this event. Funding is very difficult. Children don't have a voice. And uh, some of our funds are affected by COVID and other things. So, you know, we're counting on you come out and bid those auction items up and you can even make a donation. Well, I'm Maria Sperber and I'm the president of the Friends of the Crisis Nurseries and on behalf of our board and the Sacramento Children's Home, I'd like to present you with our award. Thank you so much for your words and thank you so much for your commitment to our community, your dedication and the people that you work with to bring us all together and continue the work that needs to be done is really, really appreciated. And you mentioned COVID and right now we could use all the help we can get. So thank you so much. Thank you, Maria. Thank you for all you do. Congratulations, Edie. I love what she said about just, you know, you never get that parent manual. The, raising a child is just not easy. And the, the work that she has done, the love that is just coming from her has impacted so many people. It's like that ripple effect that just keeps growing and growing. Edie, wonderful job. Wow. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, all of the love here for Edie. We see it in the chat bar. Andrea Westberg, we love you, Edie. Mm. Hope to see you in person. Thanks for all you've done and continue to do. Wow. And then Annette Jumper coming in here, Kelly. Yeah, so it's such a wonderful program that you started. Um, all that you're saying is so right on. And Janet says she's honored to call Edie a friend and a neighbor. So I think we can all agree. Edie yep. is like the... She's get the gold star tonight. You know, it's wonderful what she's Vir doing. Virtual hugs to yeah. you, Edie and Bill Richmond. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we just want to revisit our fund and need one last time. Our, our fund and need, we've currently got some more gifts that have come in here. We're over $40,000 oh, with your support. Karen that. Wilcutt came in here. Dave Richmond said, congrats, mom. Oh, that's the <laughs> we've best. got the whole family here. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to make any more gifts to our Fund and Need, you can do that by going to the link below, clicking on Donate to Fund and Need. We're going to keep that open the rest of the program. It'll also stay open until Sunday at 12 p.m. So Sunday, May 2nd at 12 p.m., you can continue to give towards our Fund and Need. And our silent auction will uh, stay open until 3 p.m. this afternoon. So our silent auction will stay open until 3 p.m. today. Our fund and need will stay open until uh, Sunday, uh, May 2nd at 12 p.m. Uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for all of your support. We want to thank our sponsors one final time. Thank you very much to Accenture, Fisher Phillips, and Alden Parker, UC Davis Children's Hospital. Tri-Counties Bank, Anna and Mike Buck, Maggie Cox and Pat Angolia. Kara and Alden Parker, Maria and Todd Sperber, and Christy Wise. Thank you everyone for joining with us. We're so grateful that you've been with us this afternoon. It has been a lot of fun. Kelly, any final words for us? I just want to say, you know, it's we're here to raise money for these programs and these amazing children, but really, I think I can speak for both of us in saying, you know, thank you to all of the people who are in those nurseries, who are holding these babies, who are 
feeding them, brushing their hair, putting them to bed, reading them books. You are angels, and what you are doing for our community does not go unnoticed. This is a small token of what we can do is our appreciation, but really, um, this community relies on you and thanks you and appreciates you, and I love that these babies are taken care of when, when they can't sometimes. You know? Thank you, everyone, for joining us for the third annual Friends of the Crisis Nurseries Founders High Tea Benefiting Sacramento Children's Home Crisis Nursery. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful afternoon. Take care. Thank you.